an idea is going to come into your mind and you'll experience Because of my family context, I fell into being an actor. But secretly, I always had a secret teacher inside me. And although I had a really um, uh, enjoyable and successful career as an actor and then as a director, I, I think I was, as I moved from being an actor to being a director, finally I found my, my true metier now, which is using all of those skills in what I do now, which is to be a coach, which is kind of a combo of being an actor and a teacher. Miranda taught me so much as a young actor, things I still use to this day. And she's also just a really kind, loving and supportive person. And I feel so lucky to have worked with her. I've known Miranda Harcourt since I went to Toifakari New Zealand Drama School as a 21 year old. I think working with someone like her at such a young age really imprinted something in me as a young actor. Uh, she made me believe that the whole world was for me and that being an actor was a possibility. When I was at Toifakari, I was like, okay, we've got to get these um, careers global. We've got to lift up these young Kiwis, um, these young uh, drama students, so that they can have a successful career, not only in, in the tiny um, crucible of New Zealand, but, but um, make best efforts to get them connected up overseas. A guy from Pukekohe, um, in turn to Ariane Manushkin, one of the world's great theatre makers. And that was because of the Kiwi network of willing, passionate people who want to help give other Kiwis a leg up, who are spread around the world, but you can reach out to them from Toy Fakati New Zealand Drama School and say, do you want to help a young Kiwi performer step up and try and create an international career? Of course I do. Being coached by Miranda for various roles, you know, and I know she's got a really strong perspective on me as a performer. She's seen my, my career develop um, and I know her, so there's an implicit trust in her words, and I know that they are based in context, uh, mutual respect, and honesty. And I and I know that, and I can trust that with Miranda. When I think of Miranda Harcourt, I think of three words: insight, integrity, and imagination. She's shaped my creative practice more than pretty much anybody I have ever worked with. I think we are in the middle right now of the birth of of new possibilities for Kiwi creative product to make its way offshore because um, the world has turned around and looked all the way over to our corner of the Pacific and gone, you guys are cool. You're funny, you're talented, you're authentic, you're connected up, um, you're grounded, you have a special quality which right now the world is very hungry to see. And we've moved beyond the, um, the 90s and the early 2000s when it was all about slickness and everyone looking the same. Now um, it is about um, diversity, representation, authenticity, owning your story, being grounded in your story and the ability to reach out and connect with other people. Kiwis are really good at all of those things. So this is our time. And uh, in order to maximize our time, what do we have to change about ourselves in order to step up and step into that opportunity? our sense of confidence in ourselves.